What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be showcasing all of the brand new WWE figures that were shown off at Ringside Fest 2019. Ringside Fest is obviously a little festival type deal that Ringside Collectibles puts on up in New York City. And while there are some WWE superstars who come up there, Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Ricochet was all there this year I do believe. And they showcase some brand new action figures and I'm going to showcase all of them here to you today. And we're going to talk about them, you know, talk about the epicness, talk about all the new figures that are coming our way tons of great stuff showcased today guys and we we just need to go ahead and dive right in guys let's start off with the big one we're starting off with the fiend bray wyatt guys here it is in all of its glory i love the way it's looking i love the head sculpt i think that all the parts chosen here are really epic and i love that they're going with a bunch of new parts for the fiend now i will say i wish the arms maybe a little bit bigger maybe they'll go with bigger arms i hope they don't end up going with the bray wyatt arms but if that is the case maybe uh, i don't know we'll have to like customize it or something I'm not sure but this figure looks fantastic I am very very excited for it I'm not hyped on the you know tall boot mold it looks like they're giving him maybe that's not the tall boot mold it just kind of looks that way but I love the torso I love the you know the new torso mold that we're getting and the legs we're getting a lot of new parts with this guy and it looks good man I think that painted up it's going to look even better and I can't wait to see what the true effects looks like when it is completed with that fiend mask I mean my god does that look good so the fiend is definitely one of the bigger reveals today and and obviously, it's not painted. We don't know what the paint apps are going to look like. We obviously know that the singlet will be black. The pants will be black and red. We'll have boots that are black and red. He'll have the hurt heel gloves. And I'm hoping to get, you know, some cool accessories like some Firefly Funhouse accessories, um, some things like that. So hopefully, we get some really good stuff going on with The Fiend as far as accessories is concerned. But this is a really epic start. I know that uh, isn't he supposed to have a belt buckle? I think he's supposed to have like a belt loop and a belt. I'm not sure if we're going to get that. Maybe it'll be painted on i don't know it would have been cool to get a sculpt but this is a very early image of it so hopefully it'll be released very soon and maybe we'll get some more images of it but i do hope that he ends up coming with a belt i think bray wyatt's supposed to have a belt right i believe so i can't remember but i think that uh, this fiend figure looks absolutely fantastic and i definitely had to showcase it first because i know you guys wanted to see that one first but let's dive into the next figure guys we have two new ultimate edition figures and the first one is hbk sean michaels and i love this figure i love the freaking tights the black red and silver looks really good i love the entrance gear it looks really good i know i don't think it showed off any other accessories but this little mouth wide open head sculpt isn't the most true you know it may be an early prototype still but it doesn't look true effects to me it looks like an older head sculpt in my opinion but uh it looks good man the double jointed arms are nice i can't wait to you know use uh some other head sculpts for this hopefully it comes with two or three like all ultimate edition figures do i'm sure it will and i'm sure that they will look good i hope they give us like a 2003 shorter haircut Shawn michaels i hope they you know give us that option and for interchangeable arms if they end up giving us those they may not give us interchangeable arms but if they do i hope it has white wrist tape so you can make you know the early ruthless aggression era Shawn Michaels and then we can go back and have uh, a 90s version of Shawn Michaels so hopefully that is what we get there but I do like this figure a lot and I'm hyped for ultimate series is it the third series is it the third or fourth I can't remember I think it's the third anyways moving on to the next ultimate edition guys it is Brock Lesnar who is also there and he looks really good as well you have the suplex city t-shirt I love this head sculpt where he's like kind of freaking out there um, again, it still looks like an older head sculpt. I'm not sure if it's going to have true effects or what, but, um, I, I, you know, it's very plain, but it does have double jointed arms for a Brock Lesnar figure. So that's going to be awesome. And I can appreciate that. Hopefully he comes with interchangeable bare hands. Maybe he had not interchangeable, like freaking grizzly bear hands, like bear hands, like no gloves. So I hope you guys understand that is not what I meant. But getting into the rest of the figure, hopefully he comes with jogging pants. Maybe we can have like a, you know, a, you, you guys know I've had that figure forever. The freaking pro promo attire, backstage attire, you know, workout, whatever the hell you want to call it, gear, Brock Lesnar, hopefully that, this figure will come with that as well, so you can switch that in and out with cloth pants and stuff, but there's our two Ultimate Edition figures, looking really, really good, very excited for both of those, we'll definitely grab both of those, we also have the brand new Elite Ricochet, and with this one, I feel like a lot of people were saying the same thing, it just kind of looks odd, like this Ricochet looks like a custom of the Elite 69 Ricochet is what it looks like, and I know my boy Balor Figs UK is kicking himself in the face on this one because uh, he has the, he just bought a custom of this exact attire so I know he's going to be a little bit upset that we're getting this exact attire but nonetheless I still like this figure I do hate one thing I will say 
is I don't know why they cut off his thighs right there at the knee instead of giving him knee pads. Maybe he'll end up with knee pads because this kind of looks like a prototype. I'm not sure. Um, I, I, I don't know. But then again, I think we have a figure on display. I think he's on display. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think they're, they're going to change this. But anyways, he doesn't have knee pads. He just has the one and only on the left leg and it's just cut off in black. That's very odd looking. I don't know why they didn't just give us yellow tights with black knee pads or black lower legs and black knees with the upper I, i'm not sure maybe we can actually remove that black paint from the thighs of that ricochet with some acetone or something to fix that up but he definitely needs knee pads or something because it looks odd and uh, i think it's the same exact head sculpt we've seen uh it comes with a u.s title same hands that we've gotten before and it comes with a cloth red t-shirt his ricochet shirt that looks good so i am hyped for this figure i love ricochet so i'll always add another one this attire is much better than the one we got from elite series 69 so i'll definitely take that we're heading into some new elites right here guys and it is is the brand new Elite 74 Lince Dorado. You will see here we have two different versions. It is the regular version with the beautiful cloth t-shirt. I think that's cloth. It kind of looks cloth, but it kind of looks fake or something in this. But anyways, you have the Lucha House Party logo with the t-shirt. It looks really good. I love the colors popping off. Kind of looks like MDT right here with the, with the you know, the pinata and the tights here. But anyways, he comes with a pinata and everything. He looks really good. I like the wristbands. The mask looks good and everything. And then we have the gold version. It's kind of funny because last night I was thinking to myself, who who has gold tights like we don't have a lot of figures with gold tights so it's really cool to see that we're getting another gold tights figure here and they are longer than the regular uh you know just short trunks like neville or somebody like that so that's really cool to see lente dorado got his tattoos and everything um next up guys is a figure that i'm super freaking hype for probably one of my favorite reveals of the day it is the royal rumble 2019 finn balor and i was actually going to make a video on this this morning but then my elites came in and i figured why should i even make a video on it when we're literally going to see it in a couple hours and here it is it is the new elite 74 finn balor with a cloth jacket in the royal rumble 2019 attire where he took on brock lesnar i love this figure i think it's great the kick pads the lower legs um the red looks good the cloth jacket the smiley face i mean my god in heaven i love this it looks great man i i'm super happy with elite 74 finn balor i love this figure i think it's great and we are getting a new aj styles as well guys as we move on and transition into aj styles with the lime green and black attire i feel like this attire is really old now however it is nice to see it again here we're getting another aj styles um i love aj styles so i'll take as many figures as we get you know we get a lot of them and this is a new head sculpt and it looks i don't know i don't know if i like it as much as the previous head sculpt but it is something different he's kind of like smirking or like opening his mouth a little bit just a very odd choice for a head sculpt but i don't know if i like it better than the new top talents 2019 or whatever you know the one from elite series 66 and stuff like that i don't think i'd like it better than that but it is a cool aj figure comes with knee pads has all the good bells and whistles it is a nice lime green attire so you know it's aj styles uh, we also have a new Goldberg, guys, with the Screaming Head Sculpt. We saw renders of this before, and it looks great, man. This this looks really, really strong. I love this Goldberg Elite. I think it looks fantastic. I am excited for it. I think it looks great. I, I love that we're getting an expression for him and everything, and we're getting the Ruthless Aggression attire instead of, you know, just plain black or, you know, anything like that. So that's really nice. We also have a pair of Elites here, and this is probably the best Natalia figure I've ever freaking seen, man. Look at that head sculpt for Natalia right here with Elite 74. I think they did replace place Andrade though in Elite Series 74 with Jim the Anvil Neidhart and this is what we're getting we're getting the Anvil and we're getting Natalia both in Elite Series 74 and both of them look really good you have the screaming head sculpt on the Anvil you have Natalia who looks freaking nice uh, that's the best Natalia figure I cannot wait to replace my basic because this basic that I have of Natalia I want to throw it out the window it's my least favorite figure in my collection because it won't even stand up so this one's definitely going to take her place and I'm excited for it man looks just like Natalia Anvil looks good in the pink and black with the beautiful jacket. I mean, the jacket looks fantastic as well in the Heart Foundation Anvil jacket. I can't wait for that one as well. The next figure, guys, is this Elite Lita from when she was running around with Edge, obviously, the rated R Lita, and it looks good. I really do like it. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the head sculpt. You know, I'm not sure this is that, you know, they're re-releasing that three-pack. I think it was supposed to be a WWE shop exclusive three-pack of women. It was like Lita, Wendy, Rick, uh, Wendy Richter, and Sensational Sherry that got canceled. Well, they, they finally got Sensational Sherry out as a, an exclusive at Walmart, right? And then they came back, and now we are getting Lita 
and we are getting Wendy Richter. So that is pretty cool that we are going to be getting both of those back in the line. Uh, I think the Lita looks better. I think that the, the dry brushing on the pants looks fantastic. The chain belt looks great, and I'm really hyped for the Lita. I was always a big Lita fan, probably one of my favorite women of all time. So that's very nice. And I couldn't tell you anything about Wendy Richter, but the title looks good. And her figure looks about what I've seen of images of her, so that's good to see for her. Um, moving on to the next figure, guys, we have a Macho King. And I like this. I love the pink attire. I've seen Showstopper Custom Figs do a custom of this, and it looks really, really good. And seeing it here, you know, finished off like this looks really good. So I'm hyped for a Macho King. Macho Man, not my favorite superstar of all time, but I can appreciate a freaking Macho Man figure, and they look good up on the shelf altogether. So I like that. We also have a Rock figure from 2013 with a good looking True Effects head sculpt. He will come with the Spinner Championship. Looking pretty good. It's very similar to the Elite 16 Rock, I think it was, except it has silver tights instead of the gold. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you know what event this is supposed to be. I'm not sure if it's when he won the title or when he defended it or whatever the case, but it does look good nonetheless. Um, we have a new Bobby Lashley figure, which looks really good as well. We have it, you know, it's a throwback Bobby Lashley from when um, his first run in WWE. Obviously, he has the ECW Championship. Finally getting a re-release of that belt. It's been a while since we've seen that, so that's really cool to see. And uh, I don't remember him rocking the headband, but I guess he did rock the headband, and so they included it here. He's got the black wrist tape. He does have the biker shorts on, so it looks a lot like the figure that we made on Action Figure Surgery, but hopefully it does include the decal in the back with, you know, his, his silhouette in white pointing outwards. So hopefully that is a case with this Bobby Lashley figure. It, this is the only image we got of it so far. So if we get any more images, I'll obviously put them up. But moving on to the next elite, guys, it is the dilapidated boat with our Matt Hardy Elite that we ended up not getting in the Epic Moments Hardy compound from the Ultimate Deletion with Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. So this is really, really beautiful. I freaking love Matt Hardy. I love the dilapidated boat. I wish we were getting the mower of lawns. That's what I want to see. But you know, we'll take our dilapidated boat. Maybe we can get some funny pick-fed moments or some epic pick-fed moments with the dilapidated boat. And this Matt Hardy looks good. Again, the, the details on the jeans that we're getting now with the, the Lita and now this Matt Hardy, I love that, man. They freaking dry brushed that gray over that black. It looks epic. So that's a really fantastic job by Mattel to get us this Matt Hardy, and I'm, I'm hyped for it. It has the same WrestleMania 36 head sculpt, so I'm guessing this figure would come pretty soon, right? So there is Matt Hardy with the dilapidated boat looking freaking epic sauce. Really excited for that one. Our next figure is an Elite Kurt Angle, which looks really good as well. Really strong figure. I like this. I like the attire. I like the medals. Everything looking good about this. I wish that it wasn't the same head sculpt, but uh, I'm not going to you know, dock it too many points. Don't want to get too much into that, but I do like this. I love the shoes going on and stuff. So this Kurt Angle figure is looking really good. It's not my favorite attire, but I can appreciate another Kurt Angle figure, and I'm definitely going to take it. I can't remember. Is this his WrestleMania attire versus Baron Corbin? I can't remember, but I like the way it looks nonetheless. And we did get that crappy ringside exclusive shield head sculpt so I can appreciate it. We have an elite Iconics Peyton Royce I do believe and I honestly don't know why we're getting this with the same head sculpt or anything like that but you know it's it's another figure. Or is this a battle pack? I, I, I don't know. Uh, the, the knees aren't double jointed, which is why I say that. So I'm not sure, but my battle pack Peyton Royce is terrible. It does not stand or anything like that. So hopefully this will be different. I know it, ha it has to be an elite, right? Because it has interchangeable hands. So I don't know, but this is Peyton Royce looking pretty good. Haven't seen her in a while. And we're coming up on the last figure that is a render or like a photo image like this. It is the ringside exclusive Sasha Banks. And I'm not too happy with this for a ringside exclusive, but it is what we're getting. And you know what? I'm going to be happy with it regardless. And, you know, I think it'll be a bomb figure. I think we'll get the best-looking Sasha head sculpt we've ever gotten. Um, I hope that that jacket right there is cloth. I'm sure it will be. If it's going to be ringside exclusive, I'm sure that it'll have to, you know, entice some people. So I think that the uh, jacket right there will be fantastic. You get the blue hair. You get the blue glasses. You get the blue and black attire. Really nice attire and everything. So Sasha Banks looking good. Even though I don't want it as an exclusive, I'll take it. And it, it's a really strong looking figure. So that's pretty awesome. We have some new battle packs. We have the New Day, the one that is about to release. We have the New Day with the pancakes, Big E and Xavier Woods looking pretty solid. Nothing too great about these. Nothing too crazy. 
Um, we have a Bobby Lashley Finn Balor battle pack with Bobby Lashley and the Intercontinental Championship. He's got the black and white boots. And we do have a Finn Balor with the smiley head sculpt that looks pretty good. But uh, you guys know how I kind of feel about basics at this time that just kind of looked fake or something. But I like that we're getting an Intercontinental title. I'd like to see the accessories with these figures. Um, we have some basics. We have uh, Basic Series 103 Becky Lynch looking good with the Chase variant with the Relent Lass t-shirt and the head sculpt and everything like that. We have our brand new Matt Riddle basic, guys. Brand new Matt Riddle looking very, very good. I freaking love the head sculpt. I think it's good. One thing somebody pointed out is that he is looking up, so I'm not sure about that, but I do want to pop this onto our custom elite of Matt Riddle, and I'm very hyped to do that. So when we do that, I think that'll really complete the figure. That'll be a really good surgery episode. So we have Matt Riddle right there fixing him up into an elite. We have an AJ Styles with very similar to what we've seen before. Nothing too crazy with this new uh, AJ Styles basic figure. We have a Kofi Kingston to go with our battle packs of Xavier Woods and Big E. And this one's not too crazy either. Kind of an, I think this is a new head sculpt, but it's not my favorite head sculpt. So uh, nothing to write home about, but it is a new Kofi Kingston. We have another Brock Lesnar figure, but this time it is a basic and it is a new head sculpt. So I like this head sculpt. I think it looks good. I've been waiting on a, you know, just base expression Brock Lesnar that's updated. So this is very nice to see a Brock Lesnar. I appreciate that we're getting a straight face and not a yelling or a grimacing face. So I can appreciate that. I'm going to definitely put that onto an elite. We have a Keith Lee basic, guys, and we have two different versions. You have the Chase variant and the regular version. I like both of them. You know, I'm probably going to get it for the head sculpt alone. But I'm not sure, uh, again, I'm, I'm very lost on what torso to use for Keith Lee. It's going to be very, you know, uh, difficult to come up with a torso to use for this guy. But maybe somebody out there can come up with a formula to work. But this head scan of Keith Lee looks fantastic. This Keith Lee head sculpt is fantastic. So that is definitely something you want to take note of. Uh, I love Keith Lee. I think this figure looks great. And then we have a new Rey Mysterio basic that looks freaking nice, man. I love the colors that are going on. I love the armbands. The head sculpt is nice. And it goes a lot like our... Elite Series 72 Ray, and maybe you could do a fix up where you switch out the arms, or not the arms, but you switch out the armbands, switch out the hands on the Elite 72, put the head sculpt on there. You could probably do a cool fix up with some purple and stuff like that to convert this into an Elite. I'm sure that's possible. Uh, we have a new Randy Orton basic that uh, the head sculpt is like the old head sculpt, but a little bit touched up. It kind of reminds me of a much better looking version of the WrestleMania 34 Elite Randy Orton. So there is that, and it also is his WrestleMania 35 attire with the green RKO's on the knee pads and uh, maybe somebody can convert that into an elite see what that looks like we have a basic Daniel Bryan with the really good strong head sculpt I like the way this looks a lot um, it's you know it's, it's it's a regular basic figure but I do love this head sculpt and on the new elite 73 Daniel Bryan is where we'll be getting this head sculpt so it's nice to see another with the basic uh, next up guys we have some figures on display and right here you will see we have the brand new Elite Pete Dunn in the background, which is a prototype, obviously. You know, no details or anything like that, but I am very hyped for that Pete Dunn. We have the Viscera figure right up front, looking very good. I think that, you know, it's got the King Mabel legs, but the Viscera figure looks good with his black overcoat there. Looking fantastic as well. And then we have China. Oh my god, guys, the China looks so good, and I think that the, uh, I think they're gonna kill it with this, and it looks to me like, it kind of looks like she has double-jointed arms. I can't tell, but it kind of looks like double-jointed arms from here. It may not be, I may just be tripping, but it looks like double-jointed arms, but I love all of the, you know, details we're getting. Look at those boots, look at the leg muscles and everything for China, so I'm very hyped for China to throw her into the women's shelf and the DX, you know, display and stuff, so that looks great, man. That China figure is gonna be excellent. Once it freaking releases with all the paint apps and stuff, man, that's going to be freaking dirty. Uh, but next up, we have Elite Series 73 on display. Nothing too crazy right here. We have some new Elites, you know, Ricochet, Kurt Angle, Wendy Richter, Matt Hardy, and uh, some other things. And we're going to, apparently, we're getting Vanguard 1 with Matt Hardy, as you can see there in the distance. That is Vanguard 1. I highly doubt they're going to throw a mower of lawns in there as well. Um, so that's unfortunate, but I guess they had to pick mower of lawns or dilapidated boat, and I guess they felt you could get more use out of the dilapidated boat, or maybe they ran into some issues. Uh, I would prefer mower of lawns, but you know what? I'll take dilapidated boat all day. But we are getting Vanguard 1 in the back as well to go with our Matt Hardy figure. Maybe uh, maybe down the line we can get that mower of lawns somewhere. And to finish out our video, guys, we do have Elite Series 74 on display featuring Finn Balor, Jim the Anvil, Nia Hart, Lindsay Dorado, Goldberg with the big gold WWE World Heavyweight Championship. We have Natalia and AJ Styles, and I think that is it for all of the figures. I know it was a very long video. I know it was a lot of talking and breaking down and stuff, but 
I wanted to give you all of my personal thoughts. I didn't want to leave anything out. I wanted to dive into it, get into it with you guys, and just talk about everything. And if you guys, uh, I, I want to know all of your thoughts down below on all the new figures. I would love to know. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to, you know, chat and talk about some new figures coming up. Uh, all these figures look great, man, and uh, I'm super excited and happy for all of them. I think they're going to end up being epic when they release, and everything looks fantastic, especially the Fiend, Finn Balor, man. I'm, I'm freaking hype. It's a good time to be a Mattel WWE figure collector. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much. If we get any more news, I will definitely post them up. Be sure to check out our WWE Elite 72 Roderick Strong and Buddy Murphy figure review from this morning. Definitely go check that out. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNameToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.